Gold was money. So you didn't have a bull market or a bear market. It was fixed to the dollar that people were buying. The tailor said, give me, give me a gold standard. And they will be careful what you wish for. Because in a gold standard, you're not going to make any money on gold. Because it's fixed, it's pegged to the dollar. You, If you want to make money in gold, you would actually be against a gold standard. Because they keep screwing up the currency and the gold goes up. It's going up, it's going up a lot. And let me just back that up a little bit. Because that's easy to say, I don't say things like that without love analysis. There are three different ways to think about it. One is just some technical analysis. This is the third great bull market in gold in history. And when I say history, I'm only going back to 1971. Because prior to 1971, gold was money. So you didn't have a bull market or a bear market. It was fixed to the dollar. That people were buying the tail and say, give me, give me a gold standard. And they will be careful what you wish for. Because in a gold standard, you're not going to make any money on gold because it's fixed, it's pegged to the dollar. You, if you want to make money on gold, you would actually be against the gold standard because they keep throwing up the currency and the gold goes up. But, but we had a bull market from 1971 to 1980 and gold went up 2,700%. Then we had a bear market from 1980 to 1999 and gold went down from $800 to under $50. So that's, do the math, that's 60, 60 or 70%. Then we have the second great bull market for 1999 to 2011, and gold went up 670%. Then we had a bear market. It's funny how these things go inside, goes from 2011 to 2015. But you can call the bottom, it was December 16th, 2015. Gold was $1,050, now some talking to US dollars. That was the bottom. And I saw it at the time, and I called it at the time based on a conversation I had with Jim Rogers, who's the greatest commodities trader in history. And we were down in the Dominican Republic at Casa de Campo during the bear market. I said, Jim, I think about gold. He goes, why on it? But I'm not buying more at the moment. I'm waiting. I'm not selling it, but I'm not buying more and waiting. And he said to me something that just hit me right between the eyes. He said, gold is going to the moon, but no commodity goes to the moon without a 50% retracement along the way. There comes a time when it drops 50% and then is like the second lift off. And then it goes to the now take the bottom in 1999 was $250. Now the top was $1,900 an ounce in August, 2011. So that's $1,750, half of that. So 50% retracement will be down to 25. So 1900 minus the 25. But to a 1075 bingo, 1,050. That's close enough for government work, as we say. So we had, when I saw 1,050, I having, I talked to Jim Rogers about this earlier, when I saw some 50, I said, okay, there's your 50% retracement using 250 seconds. You have to have a base to using to trip, use your baseline up to 1D900. Take that gap down to 2%, boom, 1,075, we were 1,050. So that's a low. Now it's getting close to 1,900. Again, I mean, actually on an intraday basis. I think he just kind of kissed the whole time. I was like right there. So, so there's the full retracement of the bear market. But this bull market, the third grade bull market started December 2015. We are up almost 90%. You go from 1,050 to 1,900. That's about 90%, 86, 87%. But bear in mind the last two bull markets, remember I said 2,700% and 670%, so 80% is 85% is great, is great. But when you get into like 600, 700, 800% or 2,000%, you're talking about $15 by 2025. So if we just, if we just did the average of the two prior bull market, I'm not even talking about the higher of the two, take the two bull markets, average the duration in the game and then apply it to December, 2015. You get to 15, the exact time is $15,000 by 2025, $15, 0000, now is by 2025. But people got last four years was like, fibers was like, yeah, but to get to, you get to from 2000s to 15, 000, 000, 000. you got to go 3000, 4000, 5000 in six days. You can make a ton of money. So that's where it's going now. Could it go down tomorrow? Sure. Maybe it goes volatile. I don't get too hung up on it because I'm, I'm kind of a buy and hold person. You know, I don't, I don't get too euphoric when it goes up, but I don't get depressed when it goes down to that fact when it goes down. I like to see it go up for our listeners and our readers. 
The personally, I don't mind when it goes down because you can buy more at a cheaper price because I know it's going up. I know where it's going. So the answer is just a little, again, sixth grade math is usually sufficient. When you get to higher levels, a fixed dollar increase is a smaller percentage increase. So people go, oh, we went from 1800s to 1900s, went to 20, 20, 120. And that's a big deal and good for the good for all of us. But those $100 increments get to be more and more frequent and more and more common because they, they start looking like one half of 1%, one out of 1%, not a big, big deal in the market. So you're gonna see that on a daily basis. So my advice to people, of course, is buy gold. But I said that, 0100, 100, 1000, 200, 1300, 1400, 1300, 600. I've said it all along. And people just, and people don't buy it, I believe also accuse me. They say, well, Jim, you're just talking to a position. You know, you're just trying to sell gold. I'm not a dealer. I don't make any money. If you buy gold, good for you. But I'm not, I'm not in the business. I'm a writer, I'm an analyst, but I'm not a gold dealer. I'm actually one of the few analysts apart from yourself and few others who are not gold dealers. But I think, I think that gives you more credibility because you're not selling gold, you're understanding gold. But for anyone who hasn't bought it yet, because people denial is a powerful thing. They'll say, well, I missed the boat. And now it's up the side, it's gonna go down. You haven't missed the boat. I mean, again, 8,080, 90% is a good run, but this is gonna go multiples of that. So we've been seeing gold prices going up quite a bit lately. And there are a few factors behind this trend that we can break down. Firstly, when we look back at the history of gold prices since 1971, we can identify three major periods where gold prices surged. These periods are often referred to as bull markets, and they're characterized by sustained increases in the price of gold. The most recent bull market began in 2015, when gold prices were relatively low. Since then, we've witnessed a significant uptrend, with gold prices rising by almost 90%. However, if we compare this current increase to the previous bull markets, it might seem a bit modest. For instance, in the past, we've seen gold prices skyrocket by 2,700% and 670%, making the current surge seem comparatively smaller. Now looking ahead to the future, some experts are making bold predictions about where gold prices could be headed. There's talk of gold reaching a staggering $15,000 per ounce by 2025. That's a substantial jump from where prices stand today. But of course, we have to consider that the path to that price level may not be smooth sailing. Gold prices can be quite volatile, meaning they can experience significant fluctuations in the short term. Despite this volatility, many investors still view gold as a valuable asset to have in their portfolios. That's because gold has a reputation for holding its value over time, especially when other investments might be struggling. So if you're thinking about adding gold to your investment mix, it could be worth considering for the long term. In essence, the story of gold is one of resilience and opportunity. While we can't predict exactly where gold prices will go in the future, understanding the historical trends and current market dynamics can provide valuable insights for investors looking to navigate the world of commodities trading.